Oh shit, this guy came to my work last night and he looked exactly like Saba. And he was on a date. Really? And I was like, that can't be Saba. That looks like Saba. And I played one of his songs and then he, he didn't react to like, it's not Saba. <laughs> That's how you tested it? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of saying, hey, are you Saba? Let me just play fucking one of his songs. Let's see if he notices. And then basically, once he didn't notice it, I was, went to his table, serving him. I was like, do you know Saba? He's like, no. Nah. I'm like, cool. That was it? Didn't even tell him he looked like him? No, he was like, I like Kate Trinata. I'm like, yeah, Kate Trinata's pretty cool. Then we're just talking about side chaining and stuff, which is like the way he does music, but... Hey, he looks very similar to Saba. And no, it's not like a race thing, like he's black, he must look like a famous black person. No, he generally looks fucking like Saba. The hair, the fucking face, the nose, everything was on point. I like how you just clarified that. Because a lot of people think the white people just think like, oh, all, all these people look like, these people look like. Yeah. Nah, I ain't like that. A lot of people think that of Asian people as well. Yeah, yes. exactly. A lot of people think that are white people. We do look mm, very similar. Not really. No, not really. I don't see that comparison that often. Yeah, it's because we're white. Well, half white. <laughs> Caramel. I'm biracial. Hi, we're Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander Schottsnitzen. I'm Scuba Diving Steve. <laughs> <laughs> we're Jungle Beats. We review and react to music. And um, Georgia Smith is definitely not watching this. Because she has better things to do with her time. I haven't said no. She loves a bit of scuba. She loves the scuba. She loves a bit of Schottsnitzen. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the schnitzel. You know what I mean? I'll give her the Schottsnitzen. Man, I'll give her the, the dick. <laughs> she released a single. It's called Lost and Found. Also the name of a uh, Will Smith mixtape. <laughs> album. <laughs> Sorry. It was a good album too. And she released a track called February 3rd. And we're going to review it. Because why not? She's beautiful. Is she? I haven't seen a picture of her. I assume, I assume she's beautiful. Oh, she looks like someone that I know. Yeah? You know, you know a girl that looks like this? Yeah, I do. 100%. Shit, you smashed that? No, I didn't smash it. You <laughs> fucking up. With those lips? Oh, I'm a sucker for lips, bro. I'm a sucker for the big hey, fat lips. We you know these lips don't suck them. <laughs> Until the end. Why? What's it dragged on too long. The last chorus wasn't needed. It's a bit, bit too repetitive for you? Mm. Yeah, so basically the first verse, the first two verses in the chorus were beautiful. Mm. I love the use of the keys, the tambourine, the light drums. It kind of had the feeling of like, um, you know those those music boxes? Mm -hmm. They put you to sleep. It reminded me of like that a bit. That's a great comparison. Like a music, it had, that, it had those sort of keys. But then like, when it like when those um synths came at the end of the, when that came in, I was like, okay, now end it. But then she came back in and she's like, I'm like cool, using your voice. She did the hook again and it dragged on too long. It wrecked it for me. It was really beautiful. It's still a beautiful track, but the ending kind of ruins a beautiful track for me. It's like, it just didn't need to, it's just like, she was just like, oh, it's not long enough. Let's just add another minute of hook and singing on here. Just so this track's a, a link. I have no problem with that. I feel like that's what sometimes these singers, songwriters do. They add really just this, they'll add one more kind of, um, mm. 
V not verse. It's like it's the hook, right? No, I, I, I personally believe she was in the studio and she was just like, oh shit, I don't think this is long enough. Like, I feel like it's incomplete. But instead of really Maybe. thinking of a, a, a different and smart way to go about, she's like, oh, how about I just sing on there and repeat the hook? Well, That's just how I look at it. That may be true. That may be true. And if so, hmm, interesting. Yeah, but moral of the story, good track. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful track in the way... Her, her voice carries that track so well. And I feel like it does. I don't even mind about the ending because her voice is so powerful and angelic and just smooth and beautiful. It just carries the instrumental so beautifully. Oh, yeah. And I've heard her in other tracks, so she doesn't even use her full vocal range here. She's definitely letting it fall back a bit, at least so she can let the beat ride with her a lot. She's a bit more like, say, I don't know a way to put it. She's just more smooth on beat than trying to test her vocal range as much. It's, really, it's really cool. That's a beautiful track, uh, Georgia. Um, you're beautiful. Keep making music. I'll look forward to the next body of work you, you drop. Will we mm -hmm. review it? Body. Um, I mean, we'll see. Who knows what it'll be dropping. If everything's dropping, probably not. But if people want us to, and if we got nothing else to do, then yeah. She's not, she's not a pride of me. She hasn't, she hasn't wowed me yet. Well, baby, you just wowed me right there with that track. You just hit me. Seriously. Seriously. It's beautiful. Thank you. You can do better. Always strive to be better. LeBron James. Striving for greatness. Drink more water. We might die. We're Jungle Beats. We are Jungle Beats. Did you know that? You see my snorkel around anywhere? Boy, you driving me crazy Although I say nothing can face me Plays the spark in my life back Now I want to show you how I thank that